Good morning everyone. <laughs> Welcome to another weekend vlog. Bonus, it's a bank holiday weekend so you get a little extra spice in your vlog this week. Um, <laughs> hello if you're new, I'm Emma, I live in this house, messy, ignore that, with my fiance. Still not over it, you're gonna, gonna ring back for a while. Um, Sam and our doggo. Um, and we vlog our weekends and also our gardening allotmentingness. So subscribe if you fancy. You don't have to, but it'd be nice if you did. Um, our weekends got off to a, an interesting start. I wasn't planning on starting the vlog this early. Um, so the plan was I was meant to be going to the allotment this morning to do plot inspections because I'm on the committee. <laughs> And uh, we have to do plot inspections once a month, and today was my day to do plot inspections um, with three other people. However, Sam was parked in front of me on the drive, and we have like a double stacked drive, so it's only like one in, one out driveway, and his car died. <laughs> his battery's dead. And I'm not sure if you can jump start off an electric car or not, my car's an electric car. But we're not going to try it, and also we can't reach the cables from my car to his car. So we've had to call for assistance. Um, <laughs> so after we were meant to be going to the allotment, uh, we were meant to be, get, well, we are, hey Ted, going to my mum's business to help them dismantle an old shed. Great, exciting day. This is what families do. So I rang her and I went, if you want us to come and help later, you're gonna have to send a car <laughs> to jumpstart to jumpstart Sam's car, so that's the current situation. Not the ideal morning for Sam's cars, making sad, very sad noises. It's because he left his lights on yesterday, because our neighbour came and knocked on the door at the, in the evening and went, you know, you've left your lights on, and Sam was like, oops. So anyway, we're just waiting for my stepdad to show up, <laughs> and then we can jumpstart Sam's car. But yeah, not the ideal morning. So far, I would say. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, sorry you haven't really been with us much this morning. Um, we've just been a little bit, I guess, proactive and inactive, and proactive and inactive and proactive. <laughs> But uh, we've been a little bit busy in the garden. Um, I'm coming and show you what we've done uh, this morning. Emma's at the back, doing what Emma's doing. Hi. Our new plant. Yeah, our new plant. From the dock. Yes, we've got fruit growing on our tree. Bargain, I think it's a marguerite. Yes, it's beautiful, doing it. big daisy. Yes, Ted's cute. Doing a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a rejig. I've Ready done a summer. wall plant over there, which I will show you guys. Yeah. We will paint it and I will show you guys how I did it. I just did it during a couple of weeks ago, um, but we're just going to put some plants in it. Got I've got some limestone in the bottom. Just stuff it from collecting up. A bee! A bee! It's a honeybee as well. Pollinate our strawberries. Go on. Go on. Ted, you can't argue with the black crumb brush. Yeah, it's going well. Oh, don't piss on this child. Don't get a boy dog if you want a garden, because they just piss don't on get, everything. Don't get a girl dog, because they ruin everything That's else. That's true. Don't get a dog if you want to have a nice garden. It don't work. He's not bad. Dog, dog boy, we ain't too bad. Planted my dahlia in a pot. I love that dahlia. I want them for the wedding. Um, All these, these. <laughs> These are going to go in for that. Experiment. <laughs> so I'm get, I'm really upset with the slugs. I'll be, I'm like, I could cry about it. I'm really, really, really upset about the slugs. They've eaten pretty much every single bedding plant that I put in a couple of weeks ago. So I've got some nematodes and I sprayed them on last night. And these are our test subjects. These are our test nematoded slugs and snails. And you might think this is cruel. Do you know what I think is cruel? They're eating all my plants that I've spent good money on. So I'm going to see if they die 
in here to see if the nematodes work and that might be really weird but I can't I can't live like this <laughs> I can't live like this we're just about to uh, go and help my mum out with the skip and the shed and whatever but I'm just watching there are so many birds on our garden recently Sam bless him he's desperately been trying to get birds to the garden um since we moved in but because it's a new build estate there's like not that many trees and people haven't had the gardens done and stuff so the birds are not they weren't coming <laughs> basically um but they're just absolutely loving our garden at the minute I think they're eating the leather jacks <laughs> pecking them out the ground and uh they're flying to the bird feeder and having a little nibble and it's been great seeing all the different kinds of birds that come we get a lot of finches there's robins there's blue tits there's a oh, what's it called black tail something magpie that's really fun to look at um yeah so i'm just stood i'm waiting for sam to get ready and i'm just stood watching the birds on the bird feeder if i can catch them on camera i will but animals don't like to work with technology do they so yeah it's just really relaxing watching the birds out the kitchen window we me and sam do proper like granddad stance stood with like a cup of tea or coffee just watching the birds out the window and it's so nice we finally got nature in our garden it's wonderful and they used the uh bird bath we saw them the other day having a little drink and a little wash in the bird bath which was so lovely oh i'm so old <laughs> some people in their 20s go out partying I don't know, I just stand and watch the birds. slightly more tired than me um <laughs> yeah maybe what it is just helped dismantle a shed helped tidy up sam used a saw what's them what's that saw called electric saw jigsaw thing he quite liked that um i quite liked wheeling the wheel wheelbarrow to the skip and back but then we lost sort of all the enjoyment got bored anyway we're done now we tied it up done now um on the way back we went past aldi because i fancied a drink and i got some sam have you heard that that was a big burp disgusting got some new solar lights for the front because we bought expensive ones from the garden center from the front and they don't work so they did work and then they stopped working so i'm going to put these out around the front because that's been bothering me for at least a year <laughs> i've got solar lights on the front that just don't work and we look, oh, we look a bit silly um but yes we are going to quickly well sam might have a nap but we need to quickly turn around because we're going out tonight so we need to have a shower because we're mucky <laughs> and uh get on with the day i suppose but first i'm just going to put these lights out front so they can charge up and then they might look nice when we come home tonight and we're ready <laughs> that's what i'm wearing i'm wearing my going out dungarees as opposed to my working dungarees which <laughs> sam has just called me out on the fact that i wear dungarees every day now when it is just yeah <laughs> i do wear dungarees every day um i don't know if i've I'll put you up there so i don't have to hold you 
don't know if I've explained what we're doing tonight. Basically, we're going out for food at a Japanese Chinese place that means that I'm both enjoy. Um, and we're going with. No, we haven't actually been together. You went with work once. Was it with work? Old work. And uh, I've been with family, etc. But we've not actually been together in four years <laughs> of being together. Um, so we're going there and we're going out with uh, Sam's best friend, who is his. He has to be his best man at the wedding and his girlfriend. So it's like a little double date. And then we're also going to a gig after. The gig, it's five quarter to five. The reason why it's so early, why we're going out and doing all this so early, is because, are you ready? Strap in. So the gig is at half past seven on the dot. Not doors open, no, no. It's at half past seven because it's um, Frank Turner, who is a folky rock guy, you might have heard of him, I don't know. Um, hmm? Yeah, Sam's just said he's a poet. Um, he's trying to break the world record for the most gigs in 24 hours. Um, which means he's zoom zooming around the country and he's coming to our town, which is unusual um, to have someone of actual musical importance. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's going to a few different venues and he's coming to our town. So we are going to see him. But because it's a world record attempt, he's coming at like, so he'll have started, I think, early this morning or last night. Um, and I think his last gig's at something like 4am in London. So he's only going to do like a half an hour set um, and he's on at half seven. So we need to rock and roll early doors. That's why it's so early. Not that we'd normally go out at this time. We'd normally go out a little bit later. But that's why, so exciting things. We're going out of the house. We're actually doing something that's not in the garden or the allotment or inside. <laughs> Look at you. Um, I think that's all I've got to say. I don't know if Sam will have something to contribute when he comes down. Is there anything you want to say? Me? Yeah. Do you want to tell the vlog? No? Uh, I've got plans, I've got plans in. <laughs> it's not fell down yet. No, no. We did forget the paint though. But yes, we're going out. Woohoo! Nice change from just usually what we do this weekend. Lovely. Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. So yes, we're going out. Going to a gig. Going for some food. I'm having a good, I'm, I'm going to have a good music on Christmas though. Yeah, you've got loads of gigs going. Yeah, copy that for me. Yeah. And then you're at two of them. That's the plan. <laughs> Bye. Nothing will watch stop Sam from watching Formula One though. <laughs> we are a little bit early, so he's allowed to watch it up until we need to leave. And then. <laughs> Love you too. Good. Yeah. I can say good evening now, can't I? Just like that, we're home. It is only 10 o'clock. Not much of a night out. No, it was the gig was on early. Um, I drove, so I've not been drinking. I've been very sensible. Um, and yeah, once we, you know, we, we've eaten and all you can eat. And then well, Sam's had a few pints. Um, I hope to come. Bloody hell. Um, but yeah, we're home. <laughs> We've immediately put comfy clothes on. <laughs> we are comfy clothes in the house people. We are not jeans in the house people. So comfy clothes have been put on. I'm actually going to have a little cup of tea. Look at us. <laughs> 26, but feels like 82, you know? Um... Ted's just having his tea because we missed his tea time <laughs> and um, yeah we're home we're just going to chill I think I quite I would quite like to watch a little bit of Clarkson's Farm which is our TV programme of choice at the moment um, and yeah have a little <sighs> chill I'm so full 
<laughs> I'm still so full. We went to, it was a Japanese place and it was an all you can eat. So obviously I ate a lot of, I ate a lot of sushi. I ate a lot of chicken satay skewers. <laughs> so I ate a lot of crispy chili beef. We ate a lot of food, so my tummy is very full. But yes, I don't know if Sam's got anything to say. He's about six pints deep, so nothing that'll make sense. <laughs> Someone forgot to make a cup of tea. It's a good job you always have a tea, mate, eh? In case you're wondering what she's doing. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Off the Sundays. And Sam's having a normal breakfast, which is unusual for Sam. He normally has the naughty breakfast. But today I'm having the naughty breakfast. I don't know if you can see that. I'm having a scone because me and Sam had scones and jam and cream in the week and I have one left over. And I'm just wondering on your opinions on scones because you can upset a lot of people. I know. I go butter, butter first, then jam, and then I do cream on top. And I don't think that's the way the queen does it. I think the queen does jam on top. Well, the queen doesn't do it anymore anyway. Oh, queen did. Sorry. Oh, and also, if you've got clotted cream, I really hate this gubbin on top. I really can't stand the crusty little bit on top. It's not for me that, so. And we go healthy portion of cream. <laughs> and this is my breakfast. And you can judge me. But I'm quite happy eating jam and cream for breakfast. <laughs> On a Sunday, bank holiday Sunday. We can have a bit of jam and cream. It's, it's everyone's favourite old grumpy dog. Bella's back. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Just for the day though. Mm -hmm. And she immediately came and peed on our plants and pooped on the garden. Thank you, Bella. You've christened it. Ted's happy though. He's got his friend back the day and they came my mum and stepdad came with gifts we have some paint to paint the planters and a big bag of pig poo pig manure Bella. from someone their neighbor knows a farmer or so i don't know how i think he knows know. literally everybody but um pig poo and we're going to put it on the garden and see how it works and then we can maybe get some for the allotment Woo Turn back. the people you know eh it helps these days. Also, ignore the state. I mean, I've not got ready for the date yet. We had a slightly sad. Just gonna pause the washing machine and forget to turn it's that back on. Um, we've had a revelation on the garden that is not a good one. So this is our home garden. <sighs> that looks like mare's tail, doesn't it? And Sam did his little Google phone pack thing where it tells you what it is Take a picture, it tells you. horse tail mare's tail not good and i found three pieces and i'm upset about it because that's really hard to get rid of so we're just gonna keep on top of it i think see if we can i've obviously pulled these out by their root so hopefully they won't regrow but we'll just have to keep on top of it but that is not good and we're sort of not sure how that's happened seeing as this is obviously new build land so it's not been cultivated before so we don't know how that's got there but a bit of a sad one but yes anyway probably gonna get ready for the day now um and yeah it's a lovely sunny day it's gonna be sunny all week apparently so wonderful of course we're doing what every British family is doing today. 
Washing straight out on the line. Sunny day, washing's out. Them's the rules. Sam has offered to replant the tomatoes as well, to pot up the tomatoes, so I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna show him how to do it once and then he can carry on. Let's hope none of them die. <laughs> Um, because they're getting a bit too big for the boots as well. You find me in the garage, my neighbours are out and they've got lots of people around so um, don't want to interrupt their thing by me filming, but uh, I'm just sort of chilling at home today. Emma's gone to the allotment for a bit because it is uh, like 20 degrees today, it's crazy. Sun's out, not seen that for a while. Um, today I am doing a sort of edging, proper edging on the lawn. Emma's, they don't need to do that, but. I thought it'd look nicer than just having grass than straight mud. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm going to build another planter. Hello all. So I'm just starting to make the other planter. And that one up there. Um, I've basically cut the bits down to length. I was gonna just keep them all the length that they were in the pallet, but then I realised that the one piece of wood that I had at home, I'd cut it down. So I had to cut these down slightly. Only about, well, I didn't see that much. Um, yeah, I've just painted some of the decking stain because obviously because compost will be going on the inside of the bits that have been touched, obviously you just want to give it a small barrier protection um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one slightly different to that one so you see how that one I put the wood on top of the bottom tray that one I want to put them on the sides because it'll just give it a bit more a bit more a bit more width um, and yeah other than that the garden's been nice enjoying the sun grass is starting to look green and lush um, it's sort of weird, really. And then, oh, the boss has arrived. Back, and it's a sunny day, so it'd be rude not to go. No, oh, sorry, <laughs> be rude not to go to the corner shop and get an ice cream. Pick your poison: golden caramel billionaire or white chocolate and cookies. If it do. Garden project, wonderful, beautiful garden. It's hidden by clothes currently, but because it's, it's that in good, progress. you can't see it. <laughs> it's in progress. Got some more plants to plant out. I don't know whether I should do that while I'm still mucky anyway. Where are you going to put them? In the borders. I'm going to put them for the slugs to eat, obviously. Oh. That's what's happened to everything else. We are going for Sunday dinner at Sam's Nana's again. <laughs> um, so I've not got all day, but I am very quickly. I've already planted some sweet corn that I germinated in the house and now it's in the greenhouse at home. Um, but not all of it came up. And I think the thing is with sweet corn, you need at least a certain amount to make a grid so that they can pollinate each other. It's just been irritating as per usual. Um, so I need more in order to make it worth it to germinate. So I'm going to just, I bought some more of the exact same seeds and I'm going to just plant them so we've got enough sweet corn to make it worth grabbing sweet corn. Isn't it weird that to get sweet corn you just plant sweet corn? You just plant corn. Very strange. Oh, hello everyone. It's 
words, I've not been in touch with him. I've been showing, telling you all, I've been showing you what I do, but uh, no, no, look, I've lied to you. I've let you down, I'm sorry. It'll not happen again. I'm just drilling the holes for the... Just drilling the holes for the wood. Uh, <laughs> Emma's laughing because all there is is noise. Fire the holes. Um, so I put some in on this side, I'm ready to pour this up, and I'm just going to put them in on this side. You guess how much we do that? Again? Pie. So, oh, you're dying. You're dying. I'll leave you on charge while we're out. Look, I'll be a good little vlogger. Sora's getting a gourmet breakfast, a freshly, freshly picked chard from the garden. See if he eats it. We no, no, we no. Not into the organic. Now, would you prefer your supermarket? They're greens, though. Oh, I bet I've seen it out. I know, it's a rabbit. Are you confused by that? No? Alright. I agree with that for you, though, so. Just for you, because we don't like charge, so that's just for. No? Okay. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a bank holiday Monday. Mm. Woohoo! No work. Fantastic, great success. And what else would we be doing on a bank holiday Monday if it wasn't going to the garden centre? There's a few things you have to do for you British and it's sunny. Number one, you have to have a barbecue. Number two, you have to go to the garden centre. This is the bank holiday rules. I don't make them up, you know. Um, you might be thinking, Emma, you're very dressed up to go to the garden centre. Correct, I am. I'm not in my usual dungaree attire, which is unusual these days. Um, but I'm going to try wedding dresses on later. Ooh. It is early. I know it's early, but I was encouraged by the female members of my family. It wasn't really my choice. It was sort of their choice. <laughs> so... Yes, we've also done something important, haven't we? Oh, we've uh, paid our deposit for the wedding venue. So we officially have a date. We've officially given someone some lots of money. We'll not say the date until it's all officially No, time. you don't. You won't know. Sorry, but not, it's next not year. Yet. Yeah, not yet. Anyway. Late next year. Um. So yes, very exciting. It's painful when all these deposits start coming through. You got pay. Yeah, I looked on the bank and I was like, yeah, oh. But, yeah, so we've officially got a date, officially booked the venue, I'm going wedding dress shopping, but not before we've been to the garden centre. What, do we, what are we getting? Grass stuff? Coffee and cake. Sam's obviously got his priorities, priorities in check there. <laughs> Coffee and cake and probably stuff to renovate the garden. Get some good grass seed. Yeah, the lawn. Right, off we pop. It's meant to thunderstorm. That's good. Oh, you believe everything Alexa says. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. Come to the garden centre. Woohoo! How many scones is too many scones on a bank holiday weekend? There isn't a limit. now I'm on the scone hype got a couple of bits but no plants I'm looking for a eucalyptus 
that I can put in a pot and use as greenery for the wedding. You know, since I'm planning on doing my own wedding flowers, I need some greenery, not just flowers. But they didn't have any eucalyptus that I could see, so the hunt continues. Sam got a mega bag of bird seed because he's in charge of the birds at this house and some like suet pellets for them seeing as the birds love us now we've got some seaweed feed got some poo bags because they have a little pet shop at the garden center and sam got some fancy pantsy grass seed branded and everything because we're gonna do a, while it's meant to be nice weather this week we're gonna do a little bit of garden lawn renovation the grass isn't so bad it's not so bad However, it needs a scarify and it needs a reseed because it is a bit patchy. We have dogs, so our garden is never going to be, you know, golf course green, golf course grass. But we can try a little bit harder. So we're going to borrow a scarifier this week. Scarify it and the front garden's a mess as well. Um, actually, our, our back garden that we seeded ourselves, this one, lovely green grass, is doing about a million times better than the front garden that the builders turfed. So that's all I'm going to say. But yes, we're going to scarify and reseed. And that is our job for this week coming. But yeah, we're just waiting about now. My bridal appointment is not till later on. Sam's just on the phone with his family having a chinwag. So we're just chilling, just chilling, waiting. That's it. Not much to report. Hello everyone. Emily's gone out now. She's gone to try on wedding dresses. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, she's gone out to try wedding dresses, go to some afternoon tea with the bridal party and what have you. So here I am, left on my lonesome, taking uh, the missile out for a walk. Sneaky tongues. He's not enthusiastic today, apparently. He's got that bank holiday feeling. Aren't we all? It's bank holiday in the UK if you're, if you're British. If you're not, then sorry. But uh, yeah, take Ted out for, I don't know, 45 to an hour. Get back. Try and put the other wall plants up and plant the plants. Maybe try and do some grass seed, although we are off work this week as well. So. I have the opportunity to do it then instead. But uh, yeah, keep you guys posted. If Ted does anything funny, I'll probably record it. <laughs> and yeah, I'll get some little bits of money around. Oh, sometimes I wish I weren't six foot five. It's all right for some, Ted. <laughs> Ooh. Happy bye. Although it's looking pretty thunderstormy, it's meant to have a thunderstorm today on the uh, weather. It's looking pretty interesting over there. But she's not stopping her sissy pal. Give her a second. Dog's noses are fifty times more, a thousand times more sensitive. Oh, he's found it. Look. Sorry, long time no speak. <laughs> I've been to the wedding dress shop. I've tried some wedding dresses on. Very fun experience. Would recommend it <laughs> to anyone. Even if you're not getting married, just go and try on some really nice princess dresses and you'll feel immediately better about yourself. Obviously, can't reveal anything because... Hello. Secret. So, sorry, you'll have to wait till the big day. <laughs> I'm sure you might show them a secret. And uh, back to reality. I've put comfy clothes back on. <laughs> and we're going to put up a planter in the Lots garden. Planter. You might film it. Full from that. Grace. Not quite as glamorous. Might film it, might not. <laughs> We're not filming anything else today. Might delete it later. 
No, you didn't even film Dobby's, did you? I did. How oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, put up this plant to finish off the garden. No, you're not going the garden improvements of the bank holiday. Nothing to film really, we just had dinner, pasta, and watched Jeremy Clarkson's Dilly Squat farm. And then you watched, you did your thing. What? Oh, I've made our save the dates using my fashion degree. <laughs> Creative skills. <laughs> using my marketing from my fashion degree. <laughs> but I've not printed them yet. No. Because it costs money. I got to the checkout and then it was like, this much money, and I was like, Ugh, more money. So, but I have made them. I can't show you them because it says our date on it and our venue. So that would be a privacy issue. But they are good. I might show you them when they come and just hide the Blur information. It. Yeah. But yeah, done that. Watched Italy Squat. What's it called? Uh, Jerry Clarkson's Farm. Yeah. Jerry Clarkson's Farm. Yeah. That's the one. And chilled. And that's all we've done all evening. So very nice for us, but very boring for you. So yeah. I'm not sure how much we've filmed, to be honest. Obviously, I couldn't film anything of today because, number one, it's quite a private, you know, thing. And, number two, you can't see any of it. So... Not that I watch the vlogs, yeah. No, Sam doesn't watch the vlogs. Can you believe it? Well, I'm usually there most of the time. So, yeah, I couldn't film any of that. So, that was most of the day. I filmed some Ted walking. Oh, classic Sam. Well, I walk Ted. And he loves me, you know that. Anyway, so that's it. That's our bank holiday weekend. We did a lot in the garden, though, to be fair. I, I think that's there. the main theme. Put the planters up, yeah. planted some plants, did he's, some tidying, did some edging, you know, garden. Bank holiday gardening. We're off from pretty much Wednesday this week. Yeah, you might get another extended vlog next weekend. Depends how much we film. It might be a bit mishmashed. I'll just film like the best bits and put it all together. Highlights from Wednesday evening. Onwards. Yeah, because we're off from Wednesday. Half day Wednesday. Half day Wednesday, all the way. To next Monday, mm. so I don't know why we didn't just book yesterday <laughs> to tomorrow off. Tomorrow, in the fall, I think we didn't realise it was a bank holiday Monday. No. Anyway, so we've got we're working one and a half days this week. So, but it'll be good. Have some time off. Mm. I think we deserve it. <laughs> I think I like to work for quite a bit, like work, 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 and then have like a week off randomly. Yeah, that's why I tried to book that random week off in yeah. thingy. So anyway, thank you for being with us. But then it does mean holiday. that I think I've, I've look, looked at it. Oh, we're just doing our admin now. Or are they just now? They're involved. A third party to our admin But I think this month, next month, fingers crossed, July and August means I'll have booked at least a day or two off in every single month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Since I'm not allowed Christmas. Uh, yeah, my work pre-books us Christmas off because the office is shut, whereas Sam has to work Christmas, so it's kind of Can you not allow me into the store? Christmas stuff off at work? Yeah, Christmas stuff off at work. Yeah, Christmas stuff off at work. 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 Bank holiday randomness. Good luck jigsawing it all together. <laughs> That's going to take you more than a dinner break. <laughs> Although knowing you, you'll just not work anyway. Rude! Just because I work from home, Samuel. You are about times. Don't, because they might watch it. They might job <laughs> me in. I do enough work. Overall. My hours are funny. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, but I, I do do in work. What are you doing today? It's two o'clock. I've just gone to the shops. I, I do enough work. <laughs> if you're watching this from my work, I work all my designated hours, okay? <laughs> you edit it out anyway. So if you and have, let the so if you jury, th- you know, if you thought about let it, it be heard, you I work all my designated out. hours. Maybe not within the hourly time slot of nine till five, but I do do my hours, if anyone asks. <laughs> I am going to the allotment tomorrow morning, though. Well, there you go then, so you can just show yourself some fun. Early then. Anyway, rambling. Bye. See you Bye. next week for another extended vlog. Yes. Enjoy. Apparently. Adios. Goodbye. See ya.